I'm not sure what this plant is, but it turns red in the autumn, which is almost September, a couple days. It's kind of pretty. This is Corral Creek. Don't know if that shows up very well, but it's pretty. Here's the first intersection. It's at 1.3 miles, even though it says it's 1.0 miles. Most of these mile markings are not correct. We're going to Rocky Mountain National Park, RMNP, that way, if we can cross the river, which we'll see here in a second. So this bridge is still intact. The other one on the Big South Trail is not. This is the Cash Laputa River, which is carrying a lot of water even at this time of year. It's uh, August 30th. So this is a pretty good river. Wouldn't want to have to wait it. And right across the river we have the signs for uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, no hunting, all this good stuff. It's 5.1 miles to Mirror Lake, 5.3 miles to Memory Pass. I may try for one of those, we'll see. Half a mile down you come to another intersection. This one, if you go right, as you can see, you go to Chapin Creek or Poudre Lake. If you want to keep on going all the way, you can get to uh, Milner Pass. This way, we'll go to Mirror Lake and Mummy Pass. And uh, another bridge to cross the Cache Poudre River. Here's a different kind of flower. Very wooded trail. I know I said the trail was wooded. Well, it is. Lots and lots of woods. We're at the three and a half mile mark here, about. My GPS says it's uh, 4.9 miles to this point from the Corral Creek Trailhead. And I'm gonna go to Mirror Lake. That should be another mile to a mile and a half. All right, this is the last trail junction. There's a campground that way. Comanche Peak is that way, Mirror Lake is this way. It was 0.5 miles to the trail junction and should be 0.8 miles to the lake. It was downhill to here, probably uphill all the way there. Almost there. This is the water flow coming out of Mirror Lake. So back here at the Comanche Peak Trail Cutoff, you'll go straight. It's 0.9 miles from here to the lake, and it's a not maintained trail, so there are lots of roots and rocks to watch out for, so be careful. Well, here's my hammock. I rested in it a few minutes on the way up, and I'm gonna rest in it about 30 minutes now. I've walked eight miles, my legs are killing me. Uh, I got five miles to go, so they're going to be wobbling by the time I get done. And uh, hopefully this rest will help. 
and I need to get back before dark so I'm gonna just uh, set my alarm for 4 30 if I happen to go to sleep that way I have uh, three hours to get back and it gives me 30 minutes of leeway lots of winking Well, I'm doing pretty good on time. I've been doing two miles an hour on the way down. I have 1.4 miles to go, and uh, I figure it'll take me about an hour, maybe a little more because it's not all flat. I got to do some ups. Now, earlier I said this was the Cash Laputa River. It is not. It's the Corral Creek. Uh, it joins the Cash Laputa River right down there. And this creek is has way more volume than the Cache Laputa, so I don't know how that works in the naming of rivers, but uh, Cache Laputa won out. 